Hey everybody, it's Murgle, and I still hear from my friends, and occasionally I see it being posted by people in trade chat or something, they just can't solo the first boss of Blackwing Lair. So I figured that I would just make a real quick video on how you can do it. This can be done on any class. You don't need any kind of healing, you don't need any kind of spec, it doesn't matter. As long as you can survive the damage from the ads, you will do fine. So of course, if this guy dies, you fail if he dies prior to breaking all the eggs. So I'm gonna show you how you can do it easily without any problems. Now, folk right here and get rid of them, lets you take control of him. And you just keep breaking the eggs as fast as possible. As quickly as you can simply to, because you can do this in two phases if you do it really quickly. You can do it in two processes of control in that orb, I should say. Um, like I said, can be done on any class. You don't need to heal this guy, nothing. He will survive if you handle it properly. So when the ads start coming, some of them occasionally, most of them will go to this guy over here, which is you, but some of them will come at him. Now the dragon ones like this, you can use his ability to make them fall asleep. So he's going to fall asleep for at least 30 seconds and he'll stop attacking you. And chances are he might actually go attack your character instead of going back to the dragon. Now of course you can't do anything about these guys. These guys are going to come attack you. But say you're getting piled by too many. What you're going to do is drop the orb early. This causes whoever was attacking him to actually start running at you instead. So they're going to go for your character and not for him, saving you from damage. So that's how you do it. It's actually really simple. If you're getting piled by too many, drop the orb before it drops on its own. Instead of attacking him, they will immediately change their target to you. So like you see, there's this guy right here and this orc fellow. I'll wait till a few are piling me. All right, we got three that are definitely attacking me. So I'm going to drop the orb, take it back control. And those three guys are now running to attack my character. So that's simple as that. That's all you got to do. And keep breaking the orb, or the eggs constantly. If you're mid-cast and target something else, he actually stops casting the um, destroy egg. Just an example here. I'll start casting it, and then I target this guy. And it didn't do it. I don't understand. I don't know why it does it sometimes and it does it other times. But either way, pretty simple. Like this. I'm getting piled again. So we're just going to drop it. Now you don't have to drop it this many times. I'm just doing it for the sake of showing you. But that's all you really have to do. And they will stop attacking him. Giving you plenty of time to break all the eggs without him taking any damage. Now if you're on a class that can heal. If you target him and then cast a heal like Rejuvenation or Lay on Hands or anything that's an instant cast. It will cast on him, actually, before the, the orb drops. So you can heal him to fully on your own without um, worrying that he'll die if he gets too low health. But that's it. That's all you got to do. Simple boss. Don't overthink it. So if he's getting piled, drop the orb early. Make the dragon sleep with his calm dragon spell, and you'll do fine. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching.